I knew that I was 16 or 17 or 18, but in my mind, I was a corporate titan. And, I, and there was nothing I couldn't do. I was willing to chant almost anything. We had an opportunity to present uh, or to bid on a project at that time for CBS television. We'd never really done anything for any big corporations before. Up until that time, it was really private parties, events. I went in and I gave it my best and I did my presentation and we ended up getting the project. We rewarded the business and it was my first big corporate account. And once I had that one corporate account, I <clears throat> was very specific in getting them to write me a letter of recommendation on their CBS letterhead. And I took that letter, we talk about viral marketing, I made sure that every prospective person that I ever talked to knew that I did work for CBS television. Because my feeling was, if I was good enough for CBS, I could be good enough for IBM or AT&T or anybody else. And so I milked that relationship for everything it was worth. And sure enough, I got a second corporate client and a third corporate client. And all of a sudden, our, our business really started taking off. That need was the fuel to, to fire the growth of our company. We would take all the revenue, all the money that we were taking in, and we would reinvest it back into the company. And um, that was really the beginning of, of uh, kind of like a turbo growth. <clears throat> Since that time, in, in the early 90s, the company has grown quite a bit. We ultimately opened offices in Los Angeles. We opened offices in Orlando. Um, we're working on an expansion in Las Vegas right now. And the projects that we're involved with uh, really have been for all types of organizations, all types of charitable fundraisers. We are regularly getting phone calls from these kinds of uh, TV shows, reality shows, and media wanting to cover the events that we do because our company's reputation is to create these outrageous, over-the-top kinds of parties and experiences. You're in that zone. Right? You are in that zone where that entertainment is giving you an escape. And that's what our events do. Um, I don't perform in the shows anymore. I haven't done that for about 20 years. Um, and today, I really focus my energy on new growth opportunities, new ways to diversify the company, new services that we can offer. One of the things that all businesses can be very effective in doing is once you have a relationship with a client, is to penetrate that relationship deeper. You have a relationship, they bought from you, they enjoyed the product that they, they bought, they enjoyed the experience. The hardest thing is to get that customer the first time. The best thing you can do is go back to them. So if week one you can create 50 relationships at your store, then week two hopefully you can get 50 new relationships and some percentage of the first 50 to come back. Get them all to come back, you just double the size of your business. Um, expand the relationship, revisit that relationship, find other things that we can help them with, or create other solutions for challenges that they have every day. And I think that that's really what uh, pretty much the best of all businesses do. Being an entrepreneur is not easy. Uh, early on in, in my company, I literally was working 80 and 90 hours a week, easily, and many weeks, 100 hours a week because you're doing everything. You know, you are the chief cook and bottle washer. And it really takes time until that business can get established where you can start to bring in other people to work with you. If you want to drive that Lamborghini, if you want to be filthy rich, the, the thing is that uh, you really need to dedicate yourself 150% and find something that you love, find something that you're passionate about. I didn't care working 80, 90, 100 hours a week because I loved it. And I felt I was building something and creating something, and I was following my dream. So if nothing else, I can tell you that if you're interested in, in developing or building a business and being really an entrepreneur, you really have to find something that you're passionate about.